When you live in Minnesota, you're not really too keen on the idea of going to therapy and talking to a stranger about your problems. You don't pay a $35 copay to a therapist when you have a problem with your spouse or your children or your friends. You just work it out. Just get yourself one of these punchy thingies. And anytime that you're mad at your husband, just give it a punch. Like, so glad I got married. I gave up my 20s. You don't even have dental insurance at your work. One of our kids has a reading problem because you decided to smoke pot all through the 90s. Love. Dad didn't come home again because he's ice fishing for an extra night with his friends so he can drink and have no responsibility for our children. Big deal. I'm working out. I'm working out. I'm working out. Oh, that's okay, Carol. I'll make the turkey again this Thanksgiving. I love making all the expensive food for the family. I don't have anything better to do to spend my money on than your food because your husband has a gambling problem, but no one will say it out loud because this is passive aggressive Minnesota. I'm working out. I'm working out. Oh, what's that you say, Kathy? You decided to schedule your Scentsy Candle Party on the same day as my Scentsy Candle Party? Well, that's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna sell more so you can never afford that Invisalign that you desperately need, you ugly bitch. Kathy. Oh, and you think I'm a bad mom? <laughs> no big deal. That's every thing I've done for you kids is the way you treat me. And I got married and I used to have really hot Boobs! Really hot boobs! I hate you! I want my hot boobs back! And then you just go inside and make dinner for everybody. Even the little bastards that just called you fat because they're from your body. You gotta love them. It's kind of like bull riding. I wish my husband would let me do this stuff. Oh! Hey Stan, everything's fine over here. I don't need to call the police. I'm just, just talking to a friend back in your house. God damn it. Open the door!